Hi, it's Carl here for Pro V TV. This is Sam from Canon, and we're here talking about the ME20. So, Sam, what is the ME20? Ah, so the ME20 is our new low light camera. Mm. So, it's incredible. It can go up to um, 4 million ISO. So, this is pretty much seeing in pitch black conditions here. We've got this setup set up. Um, we've got this setup on the tripod. So, the ME20 is just a small little box here, added on by rails, external battery power, and external recording through this Atmos screen. Yeah, so the camera itself in the box has um, very limited control on the body, no power, no screen, anything like that. It's all done through external. Indeed, yeah. I mean, if we didn't have this remote here, the camera would be a fully automatic camera. Right. Adding this remote gives us uh, fully uh, a full control over the unit itself. Like I'll show you now, for example, we've got this very, very dark scenario in here where mm -hmm. you, it's pitch black, can't oh, yeah. see a thing. <laughs> no. um, all I'll do now is I'll simply raise our ISO. Mm -hmm. And you see up there on the monitor. We slowly get to a nice clean image. Turns out there's a bike in there. There is a bike in there indeed. A very small bike, <laughs> uh, but a bike nonetheless. Um, the beauty of this as well is in colour. Um, so yes. you do get some cameras doing IR these days, which mm. can achieve the same sort of uh, low light noise. Um, but having colour is a nice benefit. Uh, that, that is massive. So, I mean, the types of industries that might use this, what do you reckon? Um, so, a, a big industry for wildlife, mm -hmm. as it is. I mean, um, we've also had um, a big industry for stargazing as well. Yeah. I um, think that's huge. I mean, wildlife and nature documentaries where you're out there, you're filming, I don't know, elephants in the Sahara course, by yeah, moonlight course, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Excellent. It's, it's, it's just starting out in its journey. I think it will develop and we'll see many, many more industries be interested in it as well. Um, but. Yeah, for the time being, I mean, we do have the color, or we do have infrared as well. So just double check it turned on. Yeah, so infrared. Uh -huh. So you can actually light it with infrared lights at a distance and say, for example, not scare the animal away with these massive LEDs. Okay. So it sort of can do the normal, traditional way of doing low light as well. Of course, of course. Um, but yeah, fully control over the actual unit here. The, I forgot to mention the camera is an EF mounting camera. Right. Um, so you so do you put normal all DSLR. Of our, all of our DSLR lenses onto it as well which is fantastic. So. I notice you're also recording in C-Log. Uh, we are indeed, yeah. So picture styles include C-Log, wide DR, as well as your standard 709 setup as well. Um, so it gives you that little bit more flexibility in the edit. So. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, fascinating. So it's got an ND built into the camera? Is that yeah, right? so we've got a few different NDs built in. Let me just, uh, da -da -da. so it should be switching on now. So we've got an eighth on one over 64 as well. Not that okay. you would need it. Um, no, <laughs> it sort of defeats the object, really, course, yeah. going into night. But it's there in case it is something that is needed, obviously. Definitely, definitely. Um, and there are physical ND filters uh, dropping down in there as well. So. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you.